Hey, what's up, dude? What's up, man? Look at you on uniform and everything. I didn't know you was coming through here first. Yeah, I just got back in town. I see you've been enjoying the college life. Yeah, the freedom, the independence, not to mention all the baddies. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, but what's up with you, though? Not that I'm not glad to see you and everything, but isn't your mom going to be pissed when you came here and said, going to see her first? Yeah, man. I couldn't go home. I got all these thoughts. What's up? I'll let you work. Now, how about I beat you in the game before we record? I bet. Let's do it. Nothing, man. I'm straight. Huh? No, you're not. I just beat you three games in a row, and I'm not even good at it. To be honest with you, man, I don't even know what to forget. Come on, bro. We've been boys since like the third grade. You're basically brothers. You can talk to me. Two nights ago, man, I found myself sitting on the edge of my bed, and I was just crying, man. I felt like I couldn't do anything but cry. What? Why? Me and some friends just got back from a training exercise and uh, the boys decided to celebrate by throwing a party and I don't even drink like that so I couldn't understand why I was feeling so bad. One minute I was talking to my homeboy about how bad the girls in here were and the next minute I was thrown up in the bathroom and that was just when things started to get shaky. The next day I woke up and the next day I woke up and my pants were around my ankles and I don't even know how I got there. All, all I knew was that something was wrong. Damn. Well, did you at least go to the doctor or talk to someone or anything like that? No, no. You're the first person I told. I, I couldn't even go home. I, my mom would know something was wrong. I can't deal with that right now. Well, it sounds like you were sick with salt. And the fact that you were feeling so confused could be directly related to some of this trauma. You've always had my back, Mom. So let me at least have yours. You let me take you to a counselor so you can talk to someone about what you're feeling. Alright. Alright, then. Let's do it. Good afternoon, Specialist Beer. Good afternoon. How may I help you? Uh, I don't really like know. I, I just came here because I found my best friend. First good stuff. Why do you think you were recommended to my office? They just told me that I needed to talk to somebody, like a counselor. Okay. So your friends thought you needed somebody to talk to and recommend like counseling services. So the obvious question is, are you okay? No. No, I'm not okay. I, I really wish I was, but no. Yeah. Is it okay if I probe for it? Yes. What's on your mind? I just wanted to stop. What wants to stop? All of it. The thoughts that everybody expected me to be this squared away soldier. I just can't live up to these expectations. Yeah. It's okay. I understand that it took a lot of courage to come into my office today. And this is a huge first step. And understand that this is a safe place. You can discuss anything you want with me. Okay. So these thoughts you've had recently, can you tell me about them? I, I just keep re replaying this scenario in my head. Every time it just seems to get louder and louder. I don't know how to talk about it. Beal. Beal. Specialist Beal. Are you okay? Sorry, I, I just fell into that space again. What space would that be? Everyone thinks that, that I'm good, but I'm not. 
I just can't get these thoughts out of my head. Nothing is working. I've been drinking, smoking, and sleeping with any chick that would let me hit it, but it's not working. The thoughts are still there. I just have to come to the conclusion that I've been sexually assaulted and I feel like I'm running out of options. Bill, this took a great amount of courage for you to tell me this information. And you must be dealing with a huge mix of emotions, especially after being sexually traumatized. Now, it is natural to try to avoid these emotions because they're painful. But I'm going to tell you this. You can't get over those emotions if you don't give them space and time to be worked out. Look, emotions like Fear, guilt, blame, shame, maybe even a sense of grieving. They're all common. But you, you have taken a big step. You're on the road to healing. And if I have your permission, I would like to actually get you the help you need. Is that okay with you? Yes, sir.